Welcome back YouTube, this is C-O-Z-U-N-O-N and I pronounce that cause unknown. And today I am doing a response video to Cynical Enigma, who kind of almost did a response to Level 1 Games, who I also watch. So definitely check out their channels, I'll put a link at, uh, in the description below, so check out their channels, but really good channels. I just started watching C uh, Cynical Enigma, so but L1 Games definitely been following him for a while now. But they are talking currently on the future of gaming. Let me just give you a little bit of a, a little history lesson. I called this years ago with the introduction of downloadable content. I said one day, this is the way gaming is going to be. You are, everything is downloadable, where everything is downloaded, and you have no more boxes for anything. And of course, I had a couple of friends I would tell this to, and they thought it was all propaganda, and I was just being crazy. But no, it's it's. It's not. It's upon us, people. Digital download is upon us. And uh, I wish Brother Billy was here because he feels really strongly about really strongly about this way as I do. And we've actually had this conversation. Um, the one that sticks out most in my mind was about a year, year and a half ago, when I said eventually everything's going to be digital download. And he, at the time, he didn't believe that. He thought a lot of them there would be a lot more digital downloads. And I was like, no, they're all going that way. Buddy. And he said, as long as there's collectors who want to own the game and physically hold it in their hand, then it's not. And we were at a GameStop at the time, and the guy agreed with him. And I went, but those days are, are fastly going away, guys. I'm telling you, everything's going digital download. Or everything's going downloadable content is what I said at the time. Now they just recently started calling it digital download. And now my brother agrees with me. He sees, you know, the writings on the wall. It's there, people. The writings on the wall. You just have to read it, and it depends on what kind of gamer you are. If you like to download your stuff and don't like to own the actual games, then this isn't a big deal to you. But if you're like me or my or brother Billy, <laughs> then this is a huge deal for you. I like going to myself and I like rummaging through my video games. I, I want to go over here and pick one out and be like, oh yeah, Chuck Rock too, Son of Chuck. Yeah, cool. I want to play this. I don't want to have to, you know, take my controller and go through a list of games I have on my Xbox. And God forbid, I need more space on my Xbox or the PS3 or whichever, and I have to delete a game. Because what happens when you delete games? And and if the server's still up, you're fine. But let's say I had a Do Sex Invisible War. Let's just say. I had this on my Xbox, and I down and, and I downloaded it, and it's on there. But I needed more space, and so I deleted it. It's gone. Now the server doesn't isn't up anymore. Are you serious? I can't re-download that. I can't play that again. Money wasted. Another thing, cynical Enigma touched on it, and I kind of thought the same thing, but I'm get, kind of getting away from that. Was uh, internet? He said, "What if people don't have internet?" And it's getting to uh, that point in time and age where, you know, pretty much everybody has the internet of some, some sort of form or one of another. Um, I know some rural places only have dial-up, unfortunately, and dial-up sucks. But, you know, it's getting to the point now where, you know, people have internet on their phones. This is my BlackBerry. I have internet on my phone. I have my Droid phone right here. Internet on my phone. Actually, you can see right here. Portable hot Wi-Fi hotspot. I have a hotspot on my phone. With my BlackBerry, I can tether. I have internet on my phone. And if you live in one of those rural areas and you have dial-up, I have internet faster on my phone than your internet connection. But this is the way everything's going now. Everything's coming with... You can even go to McDonald's anymore and get on the internet. This is how, you know, everything in the next couple of years, they're like, I know there's still some people who can't afford the internet. Unfortunately. I do work in an electronics store, and I do get the people, it's like, I need to boost my wireless signal. And it's like, eh, sorry, guy. But let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's, let's talk about the next thing. Um, and the next thing is this game right here. L1's brought, L1 Games brought this up, and this game is Homefront. Right now, you can go in the store and buy this brand new for $29.99, $30. Or you can go online and download this for the low, low price of... Did you guess it? 
$29.99. So you can download this for the same exact price as if you was to go to the store and buy it brand new. So let me get this straight. I can either go to the store and buy the hard copy and get the cool looking case, uh, get, the, get the little design, you know, the artwork, have the manual and the disc for $29.99 or I can download it and have it strictly on my hard drive for the same fucking price? Are you serious? I can do that? Yes. And that brings up another point, people. Digital downloads will, for, will force us to have to buy the game brand new at full price. And what is this going to do? This is going to keep the price higher longer. Like I said, right now you can buy this game for $29.99. When I bought this game, I bought it the first week it came out because the story kind of intrigued me. I paid $59.99 for it. I paid $60 for this game. There's a really good chance if this game was strictly digital download, like say if this game came out like six, seven years in the future from now, there's a really good chance that a year after this game came out, it would still be $60. Even though it's there's no replay value to this, once you play the game, you know, the shock and awe of it's gone. You can't really get it back. The graphics are still par. The mechanics are, are I don't want to say broken, but they're not the perfect mechanics ever. And the story could have been a lot better could, just could have been a lot better. So I'll never play this game again. I guarantee you I'll never play this game again. I played I played the multiplayer. wasn't that great. It wasn't a battlefield. It wasn't a modern warfare. But if I would have bought this online, I would have been fucked. Me personally, I don't ever get rid of any of my games. So that's why I still have this. I still have embarrassing games in my, in my collection. Anybody remember Bullet Witch? I have that. Why? I have no fucking clue. But this is another, uh, something else I wanted to bring up. Collector's Edition. This Collector's Edition comes with the game, obviously, a movie, the CD, a figurine, and a code book, which was garbage. And, and it comes with this nice little pretty package box, and it looks good on your shelf. Now, with digital download, there will be no more collector's editions. I mean, there probably will be. Let's just be honest. There will be collector's editions. You will just be able to download the soundtrack and download the movie. And you'll probably be able to download the book, too, and just watch it and just thumb through the, the, the pages on your, on, with your D-pad. But that's no good. That's no fun. That's just more space taking up on your hard drive that you could have for other video games or saved games. But now it's being taken up by music movies and a stupid guide. This guide wasn't that great. But yeah, Cynical Enigma, I agree with you 100% brother. 100%. Digital download is is coming and it's going to suck. Unfortunately, it's not going to kill gaming. Like a lot of people are predicting it's going to be the end of gaming. There's going to be another gaming crash. There's not going to be another gaming crash. There are a lot of people out there that all they do is buy games online unfortunately and it all that means is it's going to piss a lot of people off but those people pissed off would just be left in the dust right now i collect a lot of new school games as you can as you can see i collect a lot of new school games i collect xbox 360 i also collect a lot of old school games if you guys can tell obviously with all my sega genesis games right here got nintendo right here super nintendo right here bunch of old school handhelds right here and i'm just going to be left in the dust. I will just be an old school gamer at that point. And I think that's what really pisses me off more than most is I love this 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 I love the gaming community on YouTube and I'm always going to be part of that. But I love being a gamer. And it really makes me upset to know that the the developers and the publishers don't want me as a gamer anymore because that's that's what they're saying. They're saying you either you either adapt with this or you get left behind. And unfortunately, when it comes that everything's just a digital download, I'm just going to stay behind. I'm going to stay behind. I want to buy all the Xbox 360 games I want. I want to buy all the Xbox and the PS3 and the PS2 games I want. And the next console, I'm just not going to be a part of, unfortunately. So yeah, Cynical Enigma, uh, L1 Games, I, I agree with you guys wholeheartedly. I, I really wish, you know, gamers would stand up and boycott a lot of the newer games coming out. I know I personally am. I'm not going to buy any of these games brand new. There's Rage with their online pass. I'm going to wait till that game drops in price. No, not even drop in price, I'm sorry. I'm going to wait till that game gets returned from somebody and I'm going to buy it 
at the $45 or $50 price, $55 price, so I give all my money to GameStop and fuck ID. Ubisoft, I love Assassin's Creed, and I bought all those games brand new, but this new one that's coming out, Ubisoft is doing a lot of shady shit now too, so I'm going to have to do the same thing with you, Ubisoft. Anything from EA, EA is doing the same damn thing. They're starting with their sports games on their sports pass, and their, 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 their season pass, but eventually that's going to go to all the other games, so fuck you, Battlefield 3. I'm not buying you. I'm going to buy you the moment somebody returns you at a GameStop. There's only a couple games I want to buy brand new people. Bestetta, I haven't heard anything bad about them yet, so Skyrim's still safe. I really wanted to buy Mass Effect 3 brand new, but fuck, still, fuck you, EA. The moment it comes out and it gets re and someone returns that game in, I'm going to buy it used to give you the big fuck you and give all my money to GameStop. This is the stand I'm personally doing, you know, to let the, these, these developers and these publishers know that, you know, it's coming, but I'm not happy with it. And that's all I can do. I could boycott the games altogether, but these are some really awesome games. And rather than give my money to nobody, I'd rather give it to somebody and play the games, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, till next time, YouTube. Kind of a downer video, and I don't like doing these that because you know, I gaming supposed to is to me is happy. I like video games. I love gaming, and so that's why we do memories. You know, like memories, perfect. Love memories, man. I remember when that happened. That was for some good times. But these downer videos, sometimes they just got to be done, and sometimes I just you just got to be heard. And this is one of those times where I just have to be heard. So anyway. That's it. Till next time, YouTube. Stay up. Game on. P.S. There is one more thing I did want to say. I am going to get that person that's going to be like, why are you giving GameStop your money for it? They're the reason that the developers and publishers are going to strictly download. No, they're not. Publishers and developers are saying that they are losing money on, on games that are sold after the fact. Like they sell it once and then they don't get the money for the third or fourth sale. When that's a lie, people. Don't believe that. That's a lie. Developers are telling you this so they can justify their ends. They're trying to justify their ends so they don't look like the bad guys here. They're trying to paint the pictures on the mom and pop game shops, on on the bookmans. I live in Arizona. Bookmans is awesome. They're a used game store. Or used bookstore, but they sell games too. They're trying to paint a picture that GameStop is the bad guy and they're the evil people. And it's easy to paint them like that because there's a lot of gamers who hate GameStop. But they are used games is not what's killing the gaming industry, people. Games that have no replayability, games that force you to to play this piece of crap game instead of making this this excellent game that you can play over and over and over and play with your friends. Games like Homefront, which are just a lazy way of doing something. This is what's killing gaming. Not used sales. Used sales have been going on since gaming started. You used to be able to, you know, I used to go to pawn shops and pick up used old Nintendo games and Super Nintendo games back when I used to, back when Nintendo and Super Nintendo was the shit. Don't tell me that. All right? That's not a legitimate excuse. That's what the developers and the publishers want you to think. Don't be fooled. Don't buy into that propaganda bullshit. Anyway, stay up. Game on. Till next time, gamers. Peace.